In today's video, we are building this very simple Notion to-do list. We have today's list. So this is a list of all the different to-do list items just for today with a simple time blocking feature. We have our month calendar here. And down here, we have our full to-do list of all the items that we haven't done yet. So most of them that you've seen are absolutely terrible. They look something like this. You have Monday, you have Tuesday, you have Wednesday, and you have Thursday. And then you do little to-do lists like this, do thing. This is not going to work. This is a really terrible system. We want to use a database. And I know databases sound nerdy and annoying, but quite frankly, they are so much better to actually get jobs done because you can connect to different pieces of information. You can also show that information in multiple different views. So you're going to do forward slash data. And then here we are going to select table view. So we'll click on that. I'll call this to-do list. Then we are going to do again forward slash data and click on table view. This time we are not creating a new table. We are going to be selecting this one here. So if it's not coming up in your recent, you can search slash to do or whatever you named it. So it's coming up here. And then I can just click on select this view. So full to do list, but I will call this today's list. So this database here is only going to show me the stuff I need to do today. And now lastly, what I'm going to do here is forward slash data, you guessed it, and click on table view. And again here, we are going to select the same database. I'll search to do list, click on this here and click on new table view. This one here is going to be a calendar. So what we are doing here is seeing this information again, but as a calendar. So these three databases here are the same database. That way, when I add something here, so let's just hypothetically add an example here, example, it is going to show up example here for today, it's showing up in today's list, and it's showing up in the full to-do list. I'm going to delete this tags property here, delete property, and we are going to add some. This date property will show up if we have a calendar database because for a calendar to work, you need a date available. Now, before I get to adding a bunch of properties, I am just going to hide this name here. So click on the three dots, click on layout, show database title, turn that off. And here we can just keep that as calendar. So we're going to keep this pretty simple for today. If you want to see a more extensive to-do list system, then check out headquarters. It's my all-in-one notion system for your tasks, your projects, your resources, your notes, your time blocking, your time tracking, your life buckets, absolutely everything you could need built into one notion template. Everything is connected and works seamlessly together. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. But for this to-do list system here, we're going to keep it pretty simple. So let's click on the plus here and we'll scroll down and select the checkbox. Now the checkbox, we can just give a space bar or we could call it checkbox or done or something, but it's pretty self-explanatory. If it's checked in, then we've completed it. So we have the date, we have a checkbox and we have task. We can also here, if we want, add a time. There's a bunch of different ways we could do this. We could do text, we could do date, we could do select, I guess. We could even do a number. Honestly, there's a bunch of different ways we could do it. My favorite way to do it is just text. I think it's the easiest way to do it. So I'm just going to write time and then I'm going to drag this here to the side. So now what we have here is the date, whether the task is complete or not, the time that we're going to do it and the name, so the actual task. Now this is a very simple to-do list system. So up here we have today's list and then if we scroll down, we have the full to-do list. So I'm just going to rearrange these so it looks a bit better and a bit more simple. There we go. And then the time, we do not need that for the full to-do list. So what I'm going to do is right click and we are not going to do delete property because that will delete it from this and this database as well. Instead, we are just going to hide in view and that is only hiding it from this. So I'm not seeing that here, but I can still see it up here. Here is time. Now for this to only show today's items. So let's add a task for tomorrow and say blah. This is not showing me just today's list. So for me to only see today's stuff, we are going to add a filter. So if we click on filter here, we can say I want to filter this database here by the date. So I'll click on that. And then here I can say, I want to filter this by this week or by this day. So now I'm only seeing stuff for today. So this gives me some space to actually plan out my day here. If I want, I can change stuff. I can move it here to the 18th, for example. And now you see it's gone. Or if I move this back, so I'll click here, put it back for today and it's here. I can tick these off. I can add a time, of course, so I'll say 9 a.m. This is a really useful way to work and it's probably the thing that you'll be looking at the most. What is my day? How does it look? And when am I doing all these tasks? 
Having a time blocking feature is absolutely crucial. If you don't use time blocking, it is one of the best productivity techniques. It's in my list of the 10 best productivity techniques, and they're actually the ones that I built my headquarters template around. These 10 productivity techniques have absolutely been game changers, and that's why I built my Notion template around them. So if we scroll down here, now we have the full to-do list with example and blah. And as you can see up here, we are only seeing example because blah is listed for tomorrow. Then here in our calendar, what we can do is click on these three dots here and click on properties. And what we can say here is I want to see the checkbox property. So if I click that in, now we can see if it's checked off or not. So if I tick that here, and scroll down, you can see it actually gets ticked in here and it's ticked in here as well. Now, the last part of this simple notion to do list system is to ensure that we are not seeing done to do list items here. We don't want to see the stuff that we've already done. That won't be very useful to us. So we are going to click on the filter here and say, I only want to see tasks that haven't been done. So in this view here, full to do list is unchecked. So now I'm not seeing this example task. This list here shows me only stuff that hasn't been done. This here shows me my calendar. And yes, I can drag any tasks like this throughout the week, throughout the month. And then this here shows me my day. This is a very simple notion to do list setup, but it will be a game changer for those of you using pen and paper or using the simple notion column system. Again, if you want to check out my headquarters template, then click on this video here. Having a proper system is often the bottleneck to our productivity and headquarters might just be the solution for you. As of recording this, it has over 900 users with a five star rating. Click on this video here to see the full tour and thank you so much for watching.